Hi, and welcome to the Best Buy vlog. My name is Ray, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Eufy Robovac G30 Verge by Anchor. In the box of the Eufy by Anchor Robovac G30 Verge, you'll find the G30 vacuum itself, along with a charging base, AC power adapter, two side brushes, two filters, and a cleaning tool. I love these cleaning tools. They're very commonly included. It's that little thing right there, the little blue flat one. They're very commonly included with Chinese robot vacuums and they make it so easy to clean hair from the brush roll. In addition, the Eufy comes with a very large removable dustbin, which is nice because the vacuum is a little smaller than average, but the dustbin is actually larger, as well as an owner's manual, a quick start guide, a set of five cable ties, because the G30 is not designed to avoid cables, and 6.6 .6 feet of adhesive boundary strips because this vacuum uses physical barriers instead of in-app ones. However, there's a lot that you can do with the app. The vacuum features 2000 pascals of suction power with optional Boost IQ technology, which is something that you toggle on or off using the app. So when it's off, you can select the vacuum to clean at standard, turbo, or max suction levels. When it's on, the vacuum will switch between standard and turbo as it needs. Also in the app, there's just really solid Wi-Fi connectivity with smart home integration, as well as app control, scheduling, and cleaning history. The G30 maps your home and navigates through it using what Eufy calls Smart Dynamic Navigation 2.0. So it's going to be moving in straight lines instead of random paths. Like many vacuums, it's designed for hard floors. So if you have hardwood, tile, laminate, or low to medium pile carpets, that's ideal. Upon a low power warning, this RoboVac has the ability to return to its base to charge and then head back out to pick up where it left off once it reaches 80% battery. I have a cat in the house and she's a little nervous, but she's also a messy eater. So there are some things about this vacuum that I love for having her in the house and some things that I don't love so much. For starters, I find that this vacuum struggles a little bit with heavier debris. So if she leaves kibble around this house, this vacuum actually doesn't pick it up, which is a bit of a hassle. But the trade-off is that this is a really quiet, lightweight, easy to clean vacuum. It's about as loud as a microwave. And when I read that, I was like, Yuffie has gotta be pulling my leg. Like there's absolutely no way, but it really is, it's super quiet. So you get a little bit less suction power, despite the fact that you should be sucking at about 2000 pascals. But as a trade-off, like you can run this when you're sleeping and you're in the same room and it's fine. It's very, very quiet. I also really love its slim profile. It fits underneath a lot of furniture that most robot vacuums will not fit underneath. So while I have to go over like really crummy areas or areas around the edges of my room sometimes to clean up after the Eufy has run, um, there are areas that I'm not cleaning that I usually have to clean. So things like underneath chairs. This vacuum operates at a very pet friendly 55 to 68 decibels. It takes about an hour and 10 minutes to clean my apartment, which is a little longer than standard. Normally a vacuum will take maybe 50 minutes to clean the same space. But for more on that, and one of the reasons why I think it might be happening, as well as a full breakdown of what the name G30 means and how that works with the Eufy naming system, make sure you check out my full review at the Best Buy blog. Thanks for watching. Okay.